By the end of this video, you will be able to upgrade to the latest version of the music software Audacity. Let's get started. So you will want to first open your version of Audacity on your computer. And when I open up my version of Audacity, it tells me that I'm currently running Audacity 3.0.2. And so I would like to update that to the newest version. You might have it automatically look for updates and there would be an option here to update to the latest version. I do not have that right now, so I need to find it. So I'm going to press OK. And in order to update to the latest version, you want to go up to the top and click on Help. And then you're going to click on Check for Updates. And then when you check for updates, it's going to pull up the audacityteam.org website. And you can see that here it has downloads available. And so you can find the version that will work for the operating system that you're using. So I'm using Windows, but they have it for Mac and Linux as well. So for Windows, I've, you'll have an option for 32 or 64-bit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Download for Windows. I'm currently running Windows 10 on my computer. Okay, and so when I press that, it automatically figured out what kind of version I needed for Windows. And so you can see I have the 64-bit. So you can find the .exe file in your downloads. If you navigate to your downloads folder on your computer, you will see the .exe file. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Your computer might ask if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. You want to go ahead and click yes. And you can see that this version is actually going to be the 3.2.4 version. And so that's the newest version as of this recording. You then can select your setup language. I'm going to select English and then press OK. And then it's going to take you through the setup wizard. I'm going to press Next. You can read the information about Audacity. And then I'm going to press Next. It's going to ask you where you would like Audacity installed on your computer. And if that looks OK, you're going to want to press Next. And then if you would like to create a desktop shortcut. So I'm going to go ahead and press Next. And then finally, I'm going to press Install. It will bring you to this page and you can read this if you would like and then press next. And then finally, you can click finish to exit the setup. I'm going to click finish. Okay, so I currently have the old version of Audacity running. So I'm going to have to exit that first and then go to my desktop. And so now I have two logos here. So it can be a little confusing. You want to make sure you open the correct one. It will search for plugins. I have some plugins and some other softwares here. So it seems to be finding those. You could also skip this if you would like. Okay, so now we are looking at the new Audacity. You can read about this app updates and then press OK. It found some plugins on my computer and it looks like they are incompatible with Audacity and that's okay. So I'm just going to press OK. There is a welcome video if you'd like to watch. And then now you can press OK. And so you can see we have a different interface now. So Audacity looks a little different, but you now have upgraded to the newest version of Audacity. And if you'd like to double check that you have the newest version running, you can go up to help and then you can click on about Audacity. And then it will tell you which version you are using here. So this is 3.2.4. One thing to keep in mind is that you might need to uninstall the old version of Audacity. Sometimes it, it interferes with some of the things you're trying to do in Audacity. So if you run into problems as you're using the new version of Audacity, just keep that in mind. You might need to uninstall your old version. So you now know how to update to the newest version of Audacity. If you've made it this far into the video, you most likely want to get started using Audacity. I created a starter's guide video that will cover everything you need to know when you're getting up and running in Audacity, and I'll put a link to it here.